Yo, two British nerds back again on this beautiful, warm Friday night in Trafalgar Square. The lights are lit behind me. Too bad, too bad the uh, sorry, the lights are not lit behind me, but the water's on again. Um, but yeah, man, it's a nice, beautiful Friday night. Everyone's going out, clubbing, drinking, chilling, frigging, having fun on this Friday. And I've got people behind me climbing, <laughs> climbing the line over there. Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty cool, pretty humorous. So yes, today was the release of DC's movie Suicide Squad. But before I get into my little review of Suicide Squad, uh, there's been an, an a, a, a see I'm stuttering again because I think so much. There's been a, a announcement from D from not DC sorry from um, ABC regarding the status of the uh, the, uh, the Marvel TV shows Marvel TV shows as we know. Agent Carter has been cancelled and um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has decreased in views from, you know, from every season so apparently they're coming up with a new creative method or new creative TV shows that ABC want to push now literally um, with Marvel so they're looking for a very very different approach to the um, TV shows you know. Um, there's a rumor that Miss Marvel might actually be um, put into production, and if that's the case, boy, well, you know, it's that'll be interesting because it's a very, it's going to be a very very diverse, very very different. I hope, I really 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 hope they do it because it's such an amazing comic book. If you guys are not reading it, pick up. Um, you can get, you can pick up volume one. It's going on. Slightly having fun over there. Jeez. Uh, volume one of Miss Marvel and uh, volume two which is available to cop at your Forbidden Planet or your local comic book stores uh, but yeah I'm really really looking forward to the show being put in production if it does man it'll be a blast and I advise you guys check it out if it ever gets put into production but that's ABC News uh, but you know, going back on it, I do love Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I think it's cool, it's different, but not everybody can relate to it, I guess. Um, but me, I'm looking forward to season four, seeing what happens to Agent Coulson with the new with the new director and so forth. So it'll be pretty, pretty cool to see what happens in um, season four. And of course, my favourite TV show, The Blacklist, is coming back September the 22nd. Can't wait for that. So. Suicide Squad. Well, from what I was hearing from the reviews and what Rotten Tomatoes said, sorry, they gave it a score of 34%. It had mixed reviews. The, crit the, the critics said it was pretty much a very, very poor movie. Uh, and like I said on my last podcast, which was like about a day, <laughs> two days ago, that I will be giving my own personal review. I, I wouldn't be giving any type of reviews on the movie or my comments unless I've seen. I've seen the movie and I did today. Um, I'll say this, the movie is it's fun, it's humorous, it's dark at its um, it's dark when it's when it's supposed to be dark. Um, I really enjoyed it. I if you guys enjoyed Guardians of the Guardians of the Galaxy, you'll totally enjoy um, Suicide Squad. The storyline wasn't that great, there were some parts that were like, that weren't really that great some of the um, segments in the storyline and the storyline i mean i think the storyline wasn't <laughs> wasn't that great at all but overall it was fun humorous um i loved um i loved harley quinn will smith has dead shot surprised me because when i when i when i heard he was cast for the for the role i thought mm, it's will smith you know i mean he's a cool actor but i couldn't see him you know bringing dead shots role to life but he did pretty a pretty good job it was dope uh, Killer Croc was uh, cool. Um, the whole cast, actually, all, all the cast members were were so dope, man. Like, I loved, I loved the intro. There was a lot of music throughout the whole movie, which just reminded me, like, I was watching uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, I was happy they actually tied the movie in to um, the DC universe, which is something DC haven't done in a very, very long time. And I really enjoyed the movie. You know, I, di I didn't enjoy. Man is still one. Batman vs Superman. 
I didn't I didn't enjoy those movies and you know I really enjoyed watching this movie I just I just loved it I thought Harley Quinn was totally she was totally nuts man she was bananas you know she was um, exactly like you would see her in the comic books very very dope very innocent but very very deadly at the same time um, I think they could have had more scenes with the Joker because uh, he, he wasn't hardly he was hardly that much in the movie sorry did I say hardly that much see my grandma's poor he wasn't hardly in the movie anyways you know what you, you know what I mean guys um, but I was hearing that the director's cut will have more of the um, more of the Joker so I'll be actually watching and purchasing the director's cut of Suicide Squad because I've been hearing there'll be so much more um, cut scenes and I've been I was hearing that the cut scenes will be much much the the cut version that's cut that'll be coming out will literally be much much better than the one that came out in the movies um, I think the only thing that I, they could have improved I guess was more the storyline there was some of this there was one particular scene that didn't make it didn't make sense to me because it kind of skipped and jumped um, it didn't really make any sense um, overall and um, that and I think you know if you guys read Suicide Squad the comics you know the early comics is a very very dark book so I really think they should have made this movie R-rated and I'm really hoping that the, the cut version would be R-rated now again a lot of people were complaining moaning saying the movie was shit the movie was fucking crap it was um, poor and the critics were proper like proper like drilling the movie down like it was like really really crap and um, it wasn't man it was actually a good movie I, you know I'm a Marvel fan you know and this is I, as a DC movie right I really really enjoyed it and I really hope the tone they they introduced into basically um, Suicide Squad that they'll introduce this into um, Justice League which I hope will be um, light serious basically a comic book movie but I think uh, for my friend that was watching with me today he said um, it's a movie for the fans so they stay true to the characters the origin stories were cool um, it was funny man it was hilarious when you when it needed to be um, I liked Will Smith's uh, uh, persona I think of Will Smith every time I see him in the movie I just automatically think of Fresh Prince of Bel Air <laughs> uh, you know so it was a pretty pretty amazing um, it was pretty amazing man like to actually watch a DC movie and enjoy it like people were saying you know they had mixed mixed feelings or mixed reviews like uh, me I, I just I enjoy the movie um full stop I'm looking forward to see how they pick Suicide Squad up and like, actually how they um introduce Suicide, Suicide Squad 2 that's if they do it um like again I love the way how this movie sets up also fu the future DC universe um it's pretty cool um Batman in the movie was cool, the scenes he had in there, um, references they made to um, the, D, the, the DC universe in that movie was, was, was pretty cool. These guys are trying to climb up, look, so they're trying to climb. So it was pretty, pretty, um, pretty sweet how they referenced uh, the DC universe, you know, um, within this movie. So I think for me it was like a uh, moving forward with DC, I think they'll produce some really, really really dope movies from seeing this um this segment of um you know seeing this this touch and this change of energy in suicide squad so i think for me from seeing suicide squad suicide squad is going to be pretty much the building block of the dc cinematic um universe just like iron man iron man was you know um the building block for the marvel universe so with that being said guys i enjoyed it Please don't listen to the critics. Please don't listen to me. You know, go watch the movie for yourself. Like I said, I'm 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 a Marvel fan. I hardly I hardly read DC because I you know I I kind of vibrate more to Marvel. I'm, I mean I grew I grew around Marvel than DC. I vibrate to their characters more, but I still have love for DC. You know, I like Harley Quinn. I like Batman, Constantine, Swamp Thing, um, Animal Man. You know, I like a lot of the DC characters. I hope they implement in further in their movies i'd love to see a swamp thing movie i'd love to see a constantine movie um i'd love to see um you know maybe a solo harlequin movie but you know just her and, her and the joker doing her madness you know so 
So DC have a lot of potential, a lot of characters they can pretty much bang up into the DC cinematic universe and push things out, man. So I'm really looking forward to, now from seeing this movie, I'm looking forward to basically seeing um, Justice League. And I was really happy with the cutscene, how the cutscene was implemented and how this movie, you know, builds up. Uh, to Justice League and future DC movies um, so yeah man, I'm really like, literally I'm really happy like like I, I enjoyed it you know from a Marvel fan you know I enjoyed this DC movie you know it's from like I said from seeing the last two DC movies for me this one has been cool I can't wait to, I really can't wait to see Harley Quinn again if she makes any more appearances within the movies uh, most people's cool was Deadshot again I mean from beginning to end it was fun humorous it was a bit slow at, at, at times um, and yeah I mean apart from that guys as you know I don't really have I mean, there is you know you can't every movie has its ups and downs but from this from, from what from you know from watching the trailer and actually thinking about it I was thinking DC can't really get this movie wrong and they can't you know and after watching Manus you know Batman, Batman vs Superman, Batman vs Superman, which is very poor, and that's my opinion, it was a very poor movie, not because of the actors, but to do the studio and the way it was put together, uh, this movie was dope, like, in, this, in, in its humorous sense, because, you know, for me, what DC didn't do in their last movies was produce a comic book movie with humor, intensity and darkness, you know, with balance, you know, uh, but with, with this movie, it had the humor, had a comedy, um, it was dark, really dark at some times, really intense at some times, and sometimes it was very, very, very dark, you know. So um, it was pretty cool, and I'm really looking forward again to seeing these next movies. Um, you know, from watching this movie, I'm actually about to pick up a Harley Quinn Hot Toys when it comes out. And there's a miniature Harley Quinn statue for about 19, 20 pounds, which is available to all pre-order at Forbidden Planet International. Then again, if you guys from the States are watching this, you know, you're watching this, um, this this vid this, you know you guys watch this video you put you guys were thinking right we already like we already got this man when we were in the US yo so yeah totally agree with you guys but um that's me guys that's I guess I'm done I'm done man I'm done I'm done with this I'm done with this um review um but you know it was again I liked it enjoyed it and um I loved Harley Quinn she reminds me of me except she's crazy but the female version <laughs> uh it was amazing man um, I liked her. She, she she brought Harley Quinn to life with her acting. Uh, with um, she brought Harley Quinn literally to life, man. Um, I loved her fight scenes, the baseball bat, Woo! amazing, dope. And um, yeah, man. So with that being said, guys, I'm signing out from the streets of London. Literally have to go home now. I have to catch the last train home. I'm taking the bus, and I don't want to take the bus because it's too long. So with that being said, guys two British nerds <laughs> nerd in the streets I can always forget to say it this is this is two British nerds nerds on the streets next time I'll, I'll be somewhere else I might go to Big Ben next time or what not so that being said guys um, peace out and of course um, if you like this video give me a like or a dislike comment don't comment and um, yeah, check me out on Instagram as well because you know, with that new Snapchat feature they have, I'll be snapping all day long for you guys. You got any questions, anything you want me to speak about for next week's podcast, or if there's any, if there's, if, there, if there's anything I can do for you guys, please just contact me. All my contact details will be down below. And um, yeah, so peace out. One love, and I really want to hear you guys' re uh, comments, reviews regarding Suicide Squad. Again, I, I really liked it. I, you know, I really, I really did like. Really, um, I really enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't, let me know. With that being said, two British nerds signing out, catching the last train, and I'm going home to edit, upload this video for you guys to watch.